Hey guys, I wanted to take a moment to show you how to run our easy installer for Windows. So the first thing we're going to do is go to barnabasrobotics.com and then you go to resources and you'll see software installation. Now we're going to go to this link and uh, you're going to see different softwares here. That we're going to focus here on the one for uh, Barnabas Bot and Barnabas Racer. That's going to be the uh, first section over here and there's some other classes here too okay and we're going to focus on windows because uh, that's the one that this video is about all right so we're going to click on easy software install and then we're going to wait this thing for this thing to download it might take 10 seconds 30 seconds a minute depending on this the speed of your software now here's the thing once it's downloaded you're going to click here and click on show in folder and now it's inside here it's in, it's in a zip file so what you have to do is unzip it get it out of that zip file uh, so what I like to do is right click and then I click on extract okay it's extracted and then you can look and now you, there's this folder here I'm gonna click on that guy and then now here is the file I went around Barnabas driver installer so I'm gonna double click here okay and it's gonna try to open now you can't see this on my screen uh, but what it's saying to me is, are you sure you sure you want to run this file? And so Windows, sometimes it just tries to protect you from uh, different softwares. You can be rest assured that the software coming from Barnabas Robotics, it's safe. So you can go ahead and click uh, Next, or I think sometimes it says Run Anyway. So you just click on there. But the important thing is just allow your uh, computer to run the installer. All right, so once you do that, this screen pops up, and uh, we are good to go so once that happens I'm gonna close that we don't need that and then we're gonna click next okay and then now it's gonna start start doing its thing now it's gonna run a few different things the first thing it needs to run is Arduino um, now one thing to note here is that if you already have Arduino installed on your computer um, it's gonna ask do you want to uninstall the previous version and then install this version so at that point you can either say yes or no um, Either way works and the installer will, will continue on fine. For me, I don't have a previous version of Arduino uh, installed, so it's just gonna pop up like this. So I'm just gonna um, go ahead and click I agree. All right, and then once that happens, click next, install, and then let it, let it do its thing. So this might take a little time And we're done. All right. Okay. We're going to say close. And then it's going to install some other things. This is RDU block and another driver. Basically, the black screen is going to go away. And then you, all you have to do is click finish and then follow.